Look what at is that this thing. matchup, bro? Look at what? that. Man, I can't tell you the amount of, I don't know what to call it, laziness I feel at the beginning of this 20 hour drive. So I gotta meet up with some friends tomorrow night in Texas near San Antonio. So it's about 20 hours from my house right here. And we're just getting going. Southern States, United Sheds of America road trip starts right now. That's a heavy box. I just matched him. My name's Ben and I'm on a quest to find a shed antler in every state in the US. I don't even know if this is possible and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Halfway there. looking like it's on fire dude, mm. folks that's what i'm talking about that's a hint so you guys will know where we're at right there good morning folks from a very beautiful place um there's a hint we came down last night drove down a few hours south of san antonio to this place this is called the bsr buena suerte ranches and we're down here basically for a day we brought our bows in case we run into some javelinas that need the x and uh we're gonna look for some sheds, and I'm super stoked to be here. One of the places I've always wanted to go. We're here, BSR, Texas. Let's knock it out today. Let's go. Oh yeah, we brought that. Cause we hunting a little bit today. We got the. Uh, you guys seen these? These are new from Marsupial. They're freaking sweet. You're used to doing it on your own, right? All right, folks. We're here, uh, probably <laughs> from the most exotic. Well, probably the coolest place I've done a drink review in a while, for sure. We're doing this rise fuel down here at the BSR. We found this at HEB. Sunny D, Tangy Original Zero Sugar Rise Fuel. Here we go. That's pretty good. It does taste like Sunny D. Yeah, man, it's like back of the fridge type stuff from when you were a kid. I'm gonna say, it's not gonna be like in the nines for me. It's gonna be like an 8.5. But I think if you are a person that wants something specifically to drink in the morning, if you're having your energy drinks at 5 a.m., this thing's gonna hit hard for you. Mm. Right there, brownie on the board, under the feeder. That's the first Texas shed, look at that. Woo! Texas, baby, check. We on the board. We on the board. <laughs> yeah, baby. From the freaking Jeep. <laughs> Let's go. Um, that's protein in there? Cottonseed. Oh. Which is high protein. So we're gonna ditch the bows. Um, go for a little walk. First Texas shed. It's brown, the baby. Trip. That counts. It's brown. Look at that extra. It's got a little Dude, extra there. Uh huh. Quality. Look at that. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> we all we all knew this was gonna be the hardest state. What a group effort. We did it, you guys, as a team. <laughs> Another one right there, folks. It could it be the match? Could it be the match? It's the match. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is so difficult. This is so hard. All right, that's so two. Hard. Hey, get off my path, bro. Why is it so hard? This is the this is the zone. Watch out for riddle snacks. Live action, brown sets. Crazy. Talk about hiking through a tangled mess. Nothing but thorns. Everything out here. I'm trying to like, rip your clothes off. Jeez. Worth it though, right? Worth it. It's like uh, 90 degrees today. The whole time I was walking, I'm like, I believe in hell. I already got thorns in my undercarriage. Look at that, baby. Give us the run. Ooh. 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 Thick. Thick Chunky. Boy. Not too shabby. Big old sixer? Yeah. Pretty sweet. A few little extras going on. Yeah. Look at you. Little baby brownies. That's all right. Matched them up. Yep, right off the get-go. I think we should just drive around to all the protein feeders. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> I got a little disappointed. I came over here and I'm all of a sudden I'm like, oh, tracks. Dang it. <laughs> One of you boys already worked this area. Yeah, we looped all over. Les is over here. I'm coming. I'm coming. What did I just done do, bro? 
Oh! Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm rolling. Oh! Yeah, baby! What? That is awesome. Where is this matchup? Look at that thing. This matchup, bro. Look at that. What the heck, dude? Dirty, dude. Oh. oh my gosh, yeah baby. I'm right here, baby. Looking everywhere now. All right, let's find this sucker. We gotta match him. So spot number one, pretty much done. Um, I found those, you saw Jeff found that big brown and then that gnarly antler and then uh, Jake found a six foot rattlesnake. So that's really cool, super excited. Luckily I got the chompers, all right, for the eventuality of seeing a giant rattlesnake, so. Oh, you're excited, look at this sucker. <laughs> Brown, Woo, the dirty. The color, that was right on the ground right there. <sighs> right when we pulled up, the boys are popping off all around me. Helm, I think, has found a couple. Right when we pulled up, there was that one on the feeder. They're back there behind me. The EJ says a lot of the bucks come from back here. We'll check out this thick bedding area right here. Road, bone, shed. I think EJ stashed it in the road, and then he's like, get back to the Jeep. Let me see the, that's not the match? No, that's not the match, because this one that I just found is the same side. They look like brothers, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see if the other one's laying. Let's go, let's go. There you go. That's a good antler. Solid, yeah, a little busted. Still brown. Right on the feeder. That's it. There's going to be more. Year old one. Looks a lot like my Iowa shed. Okay, all right. A little something something. Kind of just working along, there's a lake right here. Just working along the back end of it. There's spiders everywhere. Look at the brow tine to antler ratio on that little buck. Pretty cool. Couple, couple babies. Working this stuff around this pond, looks good. I wasn't gonna go right here because Jake just looped this whole pond, but <laughs> missed that little guy. He just made a loop around the whole pond, but like I've missed several on this trip already that I'm like, what the heck, they were right there. Like they really are harder to see, these little white tail antlers. <laughs> That's a big horn, dude. Oh, I thought it had a double brow, but it didn't. That is a big horn. <laughs> Right by the road, EJ gets back with the tacos and he's like, you guys are the worst shit hunters ever, go look under that tree. <laughs> I swear he's always stashing this shiz. He is. Surprise, <laughs> there's nothing over here. <laughs> you turd. <laughs> that one's thin and crispy. Yeah, it is. He's like a two-year-old, I think he's gonna be, because he's gonna shut that room. That's what heaven is, folks. Breakfast tacos in the back of the Jeep while you're loading up on the ball. I mean, Brown come on. Gold. Come on. Does it get mm. any better, Helm? It ain't getting Does better. It get any better. Mm. A little wedding cake. That's right, dude. Mm. Yeah. Rohody. <laughs> Rohody. Yeah. Oh, that's not even... Come on. It's a big old giant. It's a honey you mahogany. Him. You heard him. Look big at old that. giant. Ooh, Look at that. Right. Devil time. Yeah. All right. Hijo le vato. <laughs> He tries to make everything a elk. It's a double time. Yeah! <laughs> it's got a split eye guard. I like it. Look at that whale tail. <laughs> Woohoo! Guys, I bet there's a surprise on the other side of this log. Ooh, if I could get to it, we'd be crawling. Hands and knees. Hello. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Blady and weird on the back of the beam. A little chunker. There we go. Another little whitey. Just all about numbers now. We're stacking. Helm's got one or two over there. I think he just ran into less. Said he's got one or two. Oh. Gotta be looking. Gotta be looking. That's it right there. <laughs> Good look of what our day has consisted of. Pokies in every direction and just fighting through these little team trails. Most of the time, no trail. 
in and out and in between looking for anywhere these deer might have hid back in here dropped look at that snakey dead so sad welcome to your first stick horn oh it is good that's your other half? That's a good horn. He didn't see the one I saw. I thought I saw the stick horn. <laughs> Pretty cool, bud. He's like a baby giant, huh? Yeah, gonna be a stud. On its way up. Did you even find any that weren't out of corn pile? What's that? So did you even find any that weren't out of corn pile? I don't think you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. The corn pile king. Big talkers. That's less pile. What do you think about that? Is that the most shed ever found in a day? Most white tail. Most white tail yeah. shed in a day. I think I got 26 muleys and 25 muleys one day. See this bad boy right here? That, was, that, that, was the, that was the good one that I found on the pond bank. Man, that just looks better than just about anything you got there, bro. Jeez. Man. On the pond bank or on the corn pile bank? Well, folks, this is what a semi-decent day in Texas looks like. Woohoo! Daddy! We gotta count them and see what we got for totals. Not Here bad, yeah. Let's count them up. I gotta know. Oh, man, that deserves. I believe that deserves a spot on the love. Table. That deserves love. a heart. Aww. Ooh. guy. Five. Maybe the mildest, tenderest wild game I've ever tasted. I feel like I've been missing out my whole life. All right, folks, so that is the end of our Texas day. We were just really here for one day on the Buena Suerte Ranch, and I need to give a huge thanks to EJ for having us out here and letting us walk around and pick up a bunch of antlers, take them home. Super awesome of him to let us do that and enjoy this place, cook care of us, cook for us. What a great dude, and what a beautiful ranch. So super grateful for that opportunity. We ended up with 51 total sheds on the day. You guys saw a handful of the pickups. A lot of horns found off the road, which was fun. I picked up eight total today. Next leg of this trip, me and uh, Les are jumping in the van and we're going on a big road trip. This whole time we've been down here, Jeff Helm has been helping us get some permission set up for places in uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, and then I'm meeting a friend in Alabama, and then maybe Arkansas. We're just doing as many states as we can. We're gonna stay on the road for a while and knock some of these out. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it till here, uh, I'm gonna do some personalized thank yous next for some people who bought apparel. So stay tuned. All right, folks. Need to do some thank yous. So we are coming to you live from probably the most rustic location I've ever been in. In this really awesome cabin built in the 18, when? 60s? It was uh, 200 years ago, 1837. So just 1837. Shy of anyway, you'll find out more about that in an upcoming video. But I want to thank some people who bought apparel. We're staying up, burning the midnight oil, getting this video ready for you guys to go up so you'll have something to watch on your Sunday morning. So need to thank these people. I need to thank Logan McDonald. Thank you, Logan. Uh, Josh Romero. Scott Ham. Really good size order. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Tyler Randall. Thank you. Uh, Brooklyn Vanderwerf. I don't know how you say that, but Brooklyn. You have a cool name anyway. Uh, Tom Mirabal. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Tommy, actually, it says. Emery Bennett. Chavis Clowell. That's a cool name. Christopher McGuire. Johnny Gutierrez. Gage Pitsley, um, Eliza Rudick, Kyle Lankford, Brian Krebs, uh, Garrett Bollinger, let's see, Cody Melker, Melker, no, I think it's Melker, I don't know, Sebastian Theron, I know I've seen your name a bunch, thank you, buddy, and Madison Jaggy, and that gets us all caught up, so thank you, everybody who's ordered apparel, um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, we'll catch you on the next one.